Elon Musk's terrifying prediction for 2030. To say that the billionaire tech pioneer Elon Musk is a busy man would be an understatement. Elon sees himself with the help of a number of companies, each of which firmly set its goals for the future. To bring forward electric autonomous vehicles and renewable energy solutions, he has Tesla. To give humanity a chance to become a multi-dimensional species, SpaceX exists. To change the transportation and build better tunnels that he is working with the boring company. To contribute to the integral development of artificial intelligence, he has joined hands with OpenAI. And finally, to enhance the capabilities of the human brain, he installed Neuralink. Hello lovely YouTube family, welcome back to Tech & Vision. In today's video, we're going to talk about the terrifying predictions of Elon Musk for 2030. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. It's easy to get lost with so many different purposes that the Musk Compo board companies have. I believe that humanity must become a multi-planetary space-bearing civilization. Those seem like exciting goals, don't they? <laughs> Look, I know I sometimes say or post strange things, but that's just how my brain works. To anyone I'm offended, I just want to say, I reinvented electric cars and I'm sending people to Mars in a rocket ship. <laughs> One reason I've always loved SNL is because it's genuinely live. A lot of people don't realize that. We're actually live right now, which means I could say something truly shocking. Like I drive a Prius. All forms of transport will eventually become electric. With the exception of rockets, Musk said he believed all vehicles would eventually run on electricity. Airplanes and ships and all other forms of transportation will run entirely on electricity. Not half electricity, but full electricity. No question about that. Musk reaffirmed his bold prediction during a panel of the National Governors Association in July. I have no question that with this ridiculous exception of rockets, all transportation will be completely electric. Airplanes, trains, cars, all ships, but it is a question of time. We can conclude that in a decade, half of the new vehicles in the US will be electric. It will also be beneficial for many other aspects. Emissions from cars and trucks are not only bad for our planet, but also bad for our health. Air pollution from control and diesel vehicles cause asthma, bronchitis, cancer, and premature death. The long-term health effects of air pollution locally last a lifetime, and its effects are found in many diseases. So the electric vehicles are in need of time. Running electric or hybrid cars on the grind in any state has lower greenhouse gas emissions than patrol-powered cars, and their energy grids are cleaner, making the benefits of electric vehicles more stable. Easy for somebody like, oh, it's, uh, it's like, I just need to move it like an inch. You know, bolt it in, no it's probably problem. really hard to write software to yeah. kind of know to yeah. adapt in all these different yeah. ways. Mechanical assistance with the winch and whatnot, but then it's pretty straightforward for the guys to just like get that in there. And they're like, if they see there's an issue with the part, then like they say, oh, this part's got a problem. We're like, we'll put it over here for to you know. But like, walking speed is three miles an hour, so it's like only one third walking speed at one mile an hour. All right. But you can see like when you look on the inside of the car, you can see like how many little complicated little pieces there are a lot um. autonomy will be in standard vehicles in 10 years musk said owning a car without self-driving skills would be a lot like owning a horse i think all cars will be completely autonomous in the long run i think it would be unusual to see cars that do not have complete autonomy further he said any car that is being built does not have autonomy will have a negative cost it would be like owning a horse you will only own it for emotional reasons in 10 years cars will no longer have steering wheels as so far, two revolutions are taking place in the automotive industry side by side. The transition from electricity to electricity and the rise of autonomous vehicles. The potential for the widespread use of driverless cars brings in into a number of benefits. Fewer traffic accidents and economic damage due to property damage, injury, or death. Energy costs will also be saved as these autonomous vehicles maximize driving efficiency and reduce traffic congestion. The potential for the net profit is huge. It will also have some other impacts. Self-driving cars can be far more energy than people-driven cars to use everything from the power-driven cars to sensors and computers for safe navigation. On the other hand, they drive more easily than humans, which will reduce energy consumption. Next, researchers will examine how low visibility drivers look. While consumers value long-distance driving, they can also value the luxury of not driving. But self-driving cars will disrupt the job market on a large scale. Musk said automation would lead to fewer jobs because no robot could work better. Automation will make basic income more likely. Elon said that because of automation, we will have a great opportunity to end up with a global basic income or something like that. I'm not sure what anyone else would do. I think we make a global basic income. I think it'll be necessary. Elon Musk is not alone in these sentiments. Although no country has yet fully implemented universal basic income, individuals are experimenting with this version of this theory, as are many Scandinavian countries. Universal basic incomes is not generally considered in a place of the rest of the social security network. Some see it as primarily as an alternative, others see it as a supplement to fill the gaps. We will go to Mars by 2025. Musk addressed the International Aerospace Congress and shared details of his plan to use his company, SpaceX, to transport people to Mars by 2025. Musk said the globe is to send a manned spacecraft to Mars in 2024. 
However, explorers may not land on the Red Planet until 2025. The vehicles that will orbit Mars will be a 165-foot long Starship, which will launch from the top of a giant rocket known as the Super Heavy. Both of these skills will be fully and quickly reusable. Musk said that the Super Heavy will return to Earth for vertical contact soon after the liftoff, and the Starship will be able to fly from Earth's orbit and Mars many more times. SpaceX is heading towards the final Starship through a series of prototypes, the latest of which the SN15 ready for a major test flight. SpaceX aims to launch the three-engine SN15 to its target height. We do not want to be part of the single planet. We want to be a multi-planetary species. We finally want to colonize Mars and make it a good place to live, Elon said in an interview. Starship is a large stainless steel rocket that SpaceX is building and testing at its development facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Starship aims to launch cargo and people on missions to the moon and Mars. AI is more dangerous than nuclear weapons. Many are worried about North Korea's missile test, but Musk has repeatedly said that something is more dangerous than a nuclear weapon. He said in an interview, in my opinion, one of the biggest threats we face as a simulation is artificial intelligence. Elon warns that there is a danger of subjugating humans with artificial intelligence in the next five years. The prediction points to a significant revision of previous estimates of so-called technical singularity when machine intelligence outpaces human intelligence and accelerates at an incomprehensible rate. He further said, We are moving towards a situation where AI is smarter than humans, and I think the time frame is less than five years from now. But that doesn't mean everything will go to hell in five years, it just means things will get unstable or weird. Some people are also estimating that AI will be responsible for starting World War III. Following Vladimir Putin's statement on Friday, Musk tweeted that in any country that is the best in the AI would become the ruler of the world. Competition for AI supremacy at the national level will probably lead to World War III. Musk said there is a possibility that the war could be automated. It cannot be started by the country's leaders, but by one of the AI if it decides to be preemptive strike its best way to win. Numerous AI experts, including Google's DeepMind CEO Dames Calculus and Skype co-founder John Talon, have speculated about the extent in which machines will eventually overtake humans and become spirited in the process. We will learn to take advantage, but its time scale varies from about 10 to 20 years. But it would be a shame if we not use that potential of AI to improve our lives. Companies in the sector believe it has taken advantage of new life-saving drugs and reduced energy intake across nations. It is fair to say that there are still many pressing issues that humanity needs to deal with, including the possibility of nuclear war and mitigating the effects of climate change, what have already affected thousands of major weather events claims for lives. Killer robots could also become a problem. There are robots that can't learn to move anything in hours, like faster than any living thing, Musk told the National Governors Association in July. The most dangerous thing is the kind of deep intelligence in the network. And you say what harm can come from the deep intelligence of the network? Well, I can start a war by making fake news and misinterpreting email accounts and fake press releases and just adding info. The pen is stronger than the sword. Tesla's Elon Musk and Alphabet's Mustafa Suleim are a leading group of 116 experts from the 26 countries calling for a ban on sovereign weapons. The founders have warned that the Convention Review Committee or Conventional Weapons that there is a danger of a third revolution in war after the gun race and nuclear weapons. It's not too late for us to act, they said. Once this Pandora box opens, it will be difficult to close. Experts have previously warned that the development of killer robots has reached a point where it would possibly deploy sophisticated weapons within the years instead of decades. Although it could be used to make a battlefield a safer place for soldiers, experts fear that self-propelled offensive weapons would reduce the risk of going to war and cause more human lives. There will be more damage than good. Tunnels will play a big role in the future of transportation. With The Boring Company, Musk aims to build a network of underground tunnels in LA that will transport cars on electric skates. Musk said the electric car sled could move cars through the tunnel at 125 miles per hour. Many of the world's largest cities have reached the capacity to absorb new infrastructure on Earth. These cities are looking for solutions both above and below ground to overcome mobility challenges. This tunnel system would be a solution for them. Elon Musk's future tunnel system is ambitious and modern. Going underground makes sense, and many cities have extensive networks of tunnels in densely populated areas. For example, the London Underground, so it know it can work. This approach offers an interesting alternative to our gridlock current. A project of the scale will change in the face of transport as we know it at the moment. A huge hurdle will cost, however, as we live in the complex transportation environment where multi-model solutions should be on the table and in the world's largest cities, this solution can be an attractive option. Humans will need to become part robot to survive. Elon said at a global government meeting in Dubai in February that humans should be part of a robot to survive. Over time, I think we will probably see a closer interrogation of biological intelligence and digital intelligence. It's mostly about bandwidth and the speed of communication between your brain and the digital version of yourself, especially the output. Some high bandwidth interfaces to the brain will be something that helps achieve symmetry between human and machine intelligence that may solve control and utility issues, Musk said. That's all for today. What do you guys think of these bold predictions from Elon Musk? Which predictions increase your excitement level? What do you guys think about the increasing level of threats with the increase of technology? Do we really need all these inventions to happen or is it too early for all this? 
Tell us what you think about it and give us your valuable view by commenting below this video. It'll really motivate us to make this type of content for you people more. I hope you liked the video. If you didn't, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any amazing video from us.